First of all, I wanted to ask, are any of you from central Nebraska? You guys have any weather challenges getting in? No, no. no I thought they had some bad weather there, but uh, I'm supposed to get some rain later in the morning, but you know, it's a nice warm ball in the morning, so we'll enjoy it as we can. At the risk of uh, repeating some of the information that was shared with you by President Landon's representative, uh, the letter we are attending this morning, I'd like to take this opportunity to discuss and emphasize several features of the experience that you would have as a student in the College of Arts and Sciences. And I want to make a bold statement. First of all, Creighton is about students, and it is about student learning. Jesuit education is about excellence, and you will be challenged to perform with excellence in your academic work. Historically, the average grade point um, in high school, the students entering Creighton has been about 3.8. Indeed, you collectively and individually have outstanding academic credentials and you have immense potential to succeed. We will challenge you to do the more, or modules as it is called in the nation speak, so that you can act to make a significant difference in your communities and your nation and in the world. In the College of Arts and Sciences, you will encounter a particular pedagogical approach to teaching and learning. Acquiring new knowledge is important, but you also will be challenged to apply that knowledge and experiences that provide new insights and that strengthen your sense of confidence in your ability, skills, and values. These experiences will include internships, faculty mentor research, shadowing professionals, and intensive global learning, as well as service learning in your courses. Two students are with us today to share some of their experiences in research and in studies in other cultures. Jesuit education is also about reflection on our learning experiences. One of the best things about an education in the College of Arts and Sciences is that you're strengthened in so many different areas of study. You learn to think critically in the sciences and social sciences. You become capable of performing literary analyses, historiography, and syllogistic reasoning. You become adept at aesthetic and affective discernment, and you advance your capacity to engage in ethical reasoning. At Creighton, we seek to educate the whole person, because all of these faculties will be critical to you at some point in your life all of your knowledge, your application, and of that knowledge through experiences and your self-reflective learning are moot if you do not engage in the final stage of Jesuit pedagogy, the call to action. Putting knowledge into action through concrete experiences and self-reflection is critically important because our communities, our nation, and the world are truly challenged by some very vexing and difficult issues. These issues truly demand keenest intellect and skills of the best and brightest of a generation. And that's you. Addressing these problems also requires a keen sense of clarified personal values. Whether it is in providing meaningful employment, offering the best education within our community schools, fashioning an economy that represents the fruits of a lifetime of prudent savings and investment, alleviating poverty and hunger among the poorest of our brothers and sisters, finding respect for the dignity of each person, no matter how old or how young, reducing the health problems that devastate many peoples in the world, or creating mutually respectful relationships among nations and radical sects of the world. The challenges are mighty, and they are demanding. Yes, indeed. We need your intellect, your commitment, and your passion. Our commitment to you, in return, is to provide the best learning experiences to prepare for those challenges. At Creighton, in the classroom, the laboratory, the internship, you will be among other talented students with similar aspirations. Although the competition is likely to be greater than any you have yet experienced in your academic work, importantly, you will have the support within a community of fellow students, faculty members, and staff. Or quote the words of the theme 
theme song from the musical Into the Woods, you are not alone. At Creighton, you will get the support that is necessary to succeed in a challenging learning environment. And you will have a lot of fun in doing so. Jesuit education has, since the earliest days of the Jesuits, been about reaching out to all of the peoples of the world. Within three generations from the founding of the order over 450 years ago, Jesuits were in Japan, China, India, Africa, North and South America, learning the cultures, philosophies, languages, and spiritual ways of the very peoples of those areas. A global education today is essential. So each year, about 125 College of Arts and Sciences students learn about the world and study abroad programs. But an equal number of students learn about the world in, through faculty-led programs abroad that take students to China, South America, Africa, Europe, and Central America. We call these flippers or faculty-led program abroad. And they are a very economically efficient way to enhance your global learning. And they also work for those students who have very challenging majors that don't allow them to take off a semester off so we can schedule them. They're also fun. Drake College of Arts and Sciences has become known for providing opportunities for students to learn through individual research projects or through creative production. This year, approximately 125 students will undertake a small group or individual research project under the mentorship of a faculty member. And about 125 students will present the results of their research or creative efforts at a professional conference. And the college helps underwrite the cost of attending these conferences. Each year, students will compete for prestigious fellowships to support their graduate professional studies after their great experience, and they will win those competitions for these professional awards. Last week, I was in China, where I visited with five universities, all eager to create student exchanges, visiting faculty experiences and collaborative learning experiences, so that the Chinese educational institutions can learn from the best of the American universities. All of the administrators and faculty I met with at these universities knew that Creighton was recognized as one of the top universities of its kind in the U.S., and that's why they wanted to work with us. I also met with one of our um, May graduates, uh, Anthony, who was an honors program student with a, uh, a graduate with three majors, chemistry, philosophy, and German. He has an internship placement in a pharmaceutical company in Ganshi, China, where they're trying to create new drugs for the AIDS epidemic that's uh, more prevalent in the northern parts of China. Anthony informed me that he had been accepted into the doctoral program in chemistry at the University of Chicago, which is where he planned to go after his year of uh, internship. But within days of our conversation, I received an email from him saying that he had been awarded the Fulbright Fellowship to study in Germany for a year. So I guess the University of Chicago would just have to wait on him arriving. That's pretty impressive, but by no means is it the only student story of this kind among college of arts and sciences students and graduates. I think the best way to inform you about the opportunities for students is to give for students who are taking full advantage of these learning opportunities. So this morning, we have two students who will share a bit about themselves and their experiences at Creighton. Each has prepared herself as well as for better than could be expected for the challenges that confront the current world. Each has fully used the opportunities and the support available to them in college arts and sciences. Our first speaker is Alexis Altrichter, whose hometown is in um, Eflin, uh, North Carolina. Um, and uh, she's also lived in Denver and in uh, Washington. Her major is in history and a minor in American studies. She's a senior this year. She served on the College of Arts and Sciences Student Senate, uh, the Greek Standards Board. Um, she has been a member of the Catholic Catholic Gamma um, Academic Excellence um, Phi Alpha 
Theta, which is the History Honor Society. Um, she's received a scholarship, a great founder scholarship, and she has uh, received a Dean Summer uh, Research Scholarship um, to do a research project. And her future plans <coughs> include pursuing a master's or a PhD in history after graduation. Uh, Alexis has a class at 9.30, so she's going to talk with you for a while, and she'll have to skip out afterwards. But um, if you have any questions for her, hopefully I'll try to answer them. So, Alexis. Hello. Um, good morning. My name is Alexis, and I am a senior College of Arts and Sciences student majoring in history and American studies. In the spring of 2008, I was in the same position as all of you. I was shy, a little uncomfortable, and trying way too hard to seem like I wasn't nervous. It's been four years since then, and I would have never guessed that I would be up here today to talk to you about my academic experience at Creighton University. I came with faith in the fall of 2008, having really no idea what I wanted to do with my life. I came in thinking, maybe a political science major, just because I'd taken a few classes in high school and really enjoyed them. Other than that, I had no clue what I wanted to do or what classes to take. All I did know was that I was definitely not suited for the medical field and had no interest in struggling through biology, chemistry, or any other science class again. My first semester of freshman year was mainly for classes. I didn't really know what kind of classes I wanted to take, so I started with the ones that were required of me. Fortunately for me, the core is designed to benefit and enhance each student in their academic endeavors. It is full of diverse course topics and provides opportunities to find new interests and broaden your knowledge. The College of Arts and Sciences offers over 49 majors and 62 minors that are enhanced by rigorous coursework and supportive yet challenging professors. There are going to be some of you who know exactly what your major is going to be, how many credits you need to graduate on time, and have planned out each semester of your college career, while others, like I was, are still deciding and trying to figure out what they're interested in, and both situations are more than okay. My first semester, I took introductory courses in philosophy, history, and I took the classes recommended to me by my Grazio Studior program advisor, and she was extremely supportive of me the whole summer leading up to my, the beginning of my freshman year, and even after my freshman year, as an important supportive mentor. Since I had expressed my interest in history and was looking for a major more within the communities, she, she suggested these courses to me. As the end of my freshman year came to a close, I was torn between a few subjects, yet after some discussions with my advisor and my parents, I decided to wait to declare any majors until I knew for sure what I wanted to do. I signed up for a pre-major advisor for my sophomore year, and she was extremely helpful in helping me to discover my interests and passions, as well as introducing me to individuals within each department I was interested in. Through her guidance, I decided to take a course in the American Studies program. What really drew me to American studies was the interdisciplinary nature of the major requirements. Through this major, I am able to take philosophy, English, and history classes that all pertain to the American experience. My experience 
had a group of roughly 50 or so uh, uh, fellow students in that, uh, in that group. So you get to know other students, uh, get to know faculty member very well. And it's a, it's a good discerning process for those of you who, like me, when I was a student, did not know what you wanted to major in. In fact, the joke my sophomore year was, which of the seven possibilities is a leader majoring in this one? So those of you who parents who struggle with the same things understand what it is. I since learned how to reframe this. You know, I thought it was I had difficulty making choices. But it's not about making choices. It's that, you know, uh, if I made one of these choices, I had to leave all the uh, other good possibilities behind. So it was what I call the first of the count, the first of the count. I didn't think a lot of people in the same situation. They say everybody else seems to know what they want to do, but I, I can't figure it out. Uh, well, that's what a college of arts and sciences is about, is to give you chances opportunities to sort of explore and that's what we try to do here um, Our second speaker is Shreda Swami. Uh, her hometown is Kansas City, Missouri. She's a uh, major in biochemistry um, with a minor in biological physics. She's a junior this year. She's been a very active student while at Creighton. She uh, also serves on the College of Arts and Sciences Student Senate. She uh, has this extra special task for the process of looking at our uh, college core curriculum. And Shweta serves on a very, very busy committee that uh, looks at the revision of the core curriculum. She's a member of the Chemistry Club. She uh, is a participant in the PMED Society and the PMED Seminar, which is uh, preparation for uh, for medical school application. She's uh, a member of the National Society of Collegiate Scholars. She has been an active participant in the honors program. Um, she uh, has uh, been involved in presidential mentoring. She's uh, uh, had a summer uh, research fellowship through a permit program, which will tell you a bit about that. And she's a member of Alpha Sigma Nu, which is the uh, honorary society. Uh, her future plans include attending medical school.
some majors even require certain credit hours of research in order to successfully complete the major, like my major, biochemistry. Research has even expanded my critical thinking abilities. Once I had learned the basics of my research, I had to be able to apply more than my basics and think outside the box in order to successfully complete my experiments. Last year, one of my experiments continuously failed to give me the right results. After researching the different components that went into my experiments and using the knowledge from my outside classes, I slowly began to change certain variables in my experiments in order to get better results. Similarly, this past semester, I was able to ask a question about rival switches that hasn't been researched very much in the scientific world, and that's how I began my own recent project. These are the exact kind of skills that help me think outside of the box and will be a great asset when I enter the real world. Lastly, you can get money for being involved in research. Creighton offers summer grants to perform research in all sorts of different departments. I was here last summer for the early summer grant, while others received the Licinius, which is for the honor students only, the Inbury, which is for all the science majors, as well as the College of Arts and Sciences Scholarship, sponsored by the Dean for all other departments. Apart from the summer scholarships, those interested in continuing research into graduate school can also apply for the Goldwater Scholarship and the Claire Lutheran Scholarship. Although only recent, research has become a big part of the college experience at Creighton. Each year, more and more freshmen are taking the initiative to contact a professor and start research early on. I started pretty early by 